It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, and welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So, a lot of things happened yesterday, but the most important thing is that I played in a $3 full tilt tournament with unlimited rebuys and an add on. And I rebought twice and I added on once. So, $12.30 because the 30 cents goes to the house. $12.30. And out of 1,422 people, I came in 28th. All that work and my cash out was $48. So I made $36. Plus, I won $18 playing in a 2-4 game while I was waiting for the tournament to start. So I won $54 yesterday. I should keep looking for a job. I played well, but I got lucky too. One time I went all in with Ace Jack, and somebody called the Pocket Aces, and I made a flush because there were four spades on the board, and I had the Jack of Spades. And the Ace of Spades was the only Ace that didn't show up. And at the end, I had Ace King off suit under the gun, and with blinds at something ridiculous like four and eight thousand with like a eight seven hundred fifty chip ante or something like that, I was down to. Eh, 100,000 chips. So I went all in with Ace King off suit, and this guy called on the button with King Queen suited. And then he flopped a flush draw and got a queen on the turn. So the queen is what beat me. He didn't get the flush, but so what? I did not pair my ace, and so I lost with Ace High. He had a pair of queens, and I finished in 28th. But that's okay because I played well and First place is 2600 bucks. I mean, they really put the money in the top. Because to, even, this, cause the, well, they used to have a more balanced payout structure, but what would happen is people would be on the bubble, and then they would just take 45 seconds to make their turn. Every time they take the maximum time letting someone else bust out. It's a $3 tournament, people. It's where we're talking about the difference between, say, $13 and $14.50. Is it really worth $1.50 to you to sit there? If you're a good player, you want to play as many hands as possible because every hand you play is a hand where you can outplay someone. You should be playing as fast as possible. So when you see people playing really slowly, it's a sign that they're weak. And I got moved around tables a couple of times. It always sucks because like inevitably you would eliminate someone and get a big chip stack. So now you've got a great table image and then you get moved to another table because <coughs> when they when you lose your guy, and you're down to eight people, sometimes they just break the table up and put each of you at another table. So that happened a couple times, but so what, right? Uh, I normally don't do rebuys at all. I had lost my 1500. Uh, I don't remember the circumstances, but I rebought twice, so I had 3000, and then I did the add on. And then I just, I would run into people that were easy to read. Like there's the guy that every time he bets, he goes all in, which is fine if your stack is, you know, double the size of the pot or something, but when your stack is 20 times the size of the pot or 50 times the size of the pot and you go all in, especially if you're grazing before the flop with it, it's just a matter of time before you can call him with anything. I called him with ace-queen. He had ace-jack. I was surprised he had a hand that good. That's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.